you know, part of being an aspiring artist is not only developing your artistic voice, but also you have something to say. And honestly, I would have nothing to say if it weren't for my liberal arts education. The things that you read and you see and you expose yourself to, they automatically come out in your art, whether you really want them to or not. Because it's visual, you're kind of putting yourself into something visually, and you can't separate what you're letting into your mind with what's coming out in your art. For my senior show project, I decided to design and make three gowns. It's something that I'm really interested in, and by deciding to design the patterns that I'm making and the dress, it would be this whole new process. I like oil painting because I feel like it has like a zen quality, like it's really relaxing to paint. I'm trying to portray what I think are universal themes about humanity intermingled with my own personal experiences and feelings. But I also want my paintings to be relatable to other people and open to their own personal interpretation. Technically, the official term is mixed media. I chose it because I felt like that wouldn't limit me to only do this or that. It involved deciding color and actually making a wood block, cutting it out, then deciding on a composition and a size. And part of my senior show is a lot of experimentation and exploration and, and different things. I'm not the biggest fan of Andy Warhol, but it's very clear in my work the, the part that he plays because I think that with a repeated symbol, you can say something else than is actually on the paper. In Talio printmaking, you take metal plates and you put an acid resist ground, and then you draw into the acid resist and then put them into acid and it etches them until you kind of get what you want. I think I chose this because I like, for one thing, having like second chances. It's very different than watercolor. You either have something good or it's, or you don't. But with Intaglio, you can add layer on layer on layer and it creates really rich textures and rich values. My two great grandmas both influence me. You know, every day when I am trying to figure out what to do or where my design should go from when I'm at a stopping point or things like that. I love Audrey Hepburn. I love the dresses that she wears, just classic styles that, that are timeless. My idea when I started was to take physical places, buildings mostly, that have influenced my life some way and portray it in printmaking. You know, I, I take a lot from my studio mates, like I take a lot from Mitch. We really feed off of each other. I take a lot from Tamsin. I take a lot from just the people that work around me and the things that I see. It's easier for you to find truth with a liberal arts education because you're, you've been trained literally that's where your training is, to find truth. Because of that, you're searching for truth. And truth searchers arrive at good conclusions. And that includes good visual conclusions. My liberal arts education has helped me a lot just because I, I have learned from the classes that I've taken how to take what I'm learning and apply it to other areas of my life. The liberal arts have given me a context in which to create my artwork and have given me a sense of its place and purpose and time. I don't ever want to stop learning. I want to always be growing. And Southern Virginia has taught me that that can always happen. You can always be learning and growing, no matter what stage of life you're at.